What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna go over the Pit Boss griddle. My favorite cooktop out of any cooktop out there. The Pit Boss griddle is very similar to the Blackstone, so both of them could work depending on which brand you prefer. I replaced the Coleman cooktop for this particular griddle just because it just makes life a lot easier. The price for something like this runs anywhere for about a 150 to about 229, 230 from what I've seen online. Uh, so it really does depend. The one that I got is about 150, but it's discontinued unless you get the package with a bunch of other stuff. So I'll link all of them below so you can kind of look through which one fits your needs. Specs on this uh, Pit Boss is 23 by 17 by nine. Um, so about two feet uh, long, roughly. Doesn't sit that high, uh, but it gives you about 289 uh, square inches of cook space. So it's a very decent size as far as your cooking goes. It's kind of heavy, it's about 28 pounds. Um, so moving it here and there could be kind of a chore, but it's not that huge of a chore when you're moving a propane tank, which is usually heavier than that. Uh, the girdle surface is 4.7 millimeters, so it allows you to have an even cook space across the board, and it's a two burner. So you can adjust the two sides as far as if you wanted to sear something on one side and slow cook on the other. Must have with the cooktop, I would say the Babish tongs. Only reason why these tongs, and you need to do that every time you get tongs. Uh, it doesn't pinch you like other ones. They're very uh, thick, uh, built here, very high quality. I mean, Babish does cook for a living, so I believe he knows what people want. Uh, I'm used to use those cheap, and I paid a little bit more money for some higher duty uh, cooktops and they're just not as good as this one. This one has lasted a very long time. I use it all the time when I'm camping and it's very sturdy. Uh, I would highly recommend this. The other thing that you would need is a metal spatula. Um, something that's small and I would get a bigger one as well. I have two. Uh, the whole reason why is this small one allows me to easily fit in the oil catch when I'm cleaning it at the end. Uh, the big one allows me to flip things. So I would recommend two different um, metal spatulas just for cleaning easier and being able to cook on top. So with those two things you can pretty much cook anything on that cooktop uh, as long as it doesn't involve like water or soup or anything like that. So some of the pros with uh, this cooktop is uh, you can cook a bunch of things. Meal prep is great. Uh, you can cook everything at one time. So if you wanted to make your pancakes, eggs, and bacon for breakfast, you can throw it all on there at one time. You can adjust both sides when you're cooking. So it allows you to have the heat proportionally uh, dispersed on that flat uh, cook surface. One of the great things with that pro with the meal prep and cooking a bunch of things at once is everybody I go camping with now, we no longer have multiple people bringing cooked tops. Um, we all use mine. Uh, everybody brings their own food. So how we do it when we go camping is every family is responsible for one meal when we're camping. So basically what happens is somebody has breakfast, lunch, and then dinner. Uh, all of us have kids for the most part. So some of them have two, some have one. And so we're cooking for roughly about six or seven kids and about eight adults. And we're able to cook everything on that cook surface, regardless of whatever type of food we're cooking, uh, we're able to accommodate the kids and the adults. So that is one of the biggest pros that you are eliminating having to bring multiple uh, cooktops to cook a meal to fulfill everybody. Pro number two, no more pots and pans. Uh, you cook everything straight on the, the griddle and the only issue is that you won't be able to make curry or boil water, but I carry a jet boil with me, so that's not an issue for me. Um, I love my coffee in the morning, so I need the jet boil for that with the AeroPress. So that's pretty much what I would uh, bring for that purpose if you're looking for that. Tip number three, you can get a very good sear. You're essentially having a very big cast iron skillet 
that's a flat cooking surface. So if you want a nice sear on your steak or smash burgers or just the burger itself, nothing really beats that unless you're cooking on a cast iron skillet with a Coleman. But that being said, now you'd have to bring two of those to be able to do that. Um, and if it's only for one meal, it's kind of a waste of space. Pro number four uh, would be the oil catch. It's fantastic on this uh, piece. I'm not cooking anything crazy oily, so there's not a lot. But as long as, you, you know, you need an oil catch, so it's not splattering all over the place, this thing, um, it's very easy to catch the oil and to uh, wait for it to cool down, to solidify, and then to clean out afterwards. Uh, nobody wants to throw that hot oil on one of your trash bags, it'll melt right through. <laughs> so, one of the cons with this uh, particular thing that I mentioned earlier is not being able to boil water. Now, you can boil water on the griddle. I've done it in a pinch before, but it takes very long. Um, something I wouldn't recommend. Uh, it's just, it doesn't heat from the cooking top into like a pot or a kettle quickly enough. It can be done, it can make it hot, but you're just gonna be waiting a long time. So I would carry a jet boil or some type of uh, similar type of boiling device on the side. Jet boils only are about this big. They don't take a lot of room. Uh, so that's something that I focus on is the real estate in my vehicle is I, I try to minimize the space of everything. So that's one of the biggest things that um, I look forward to when I'm looking at gear. Uh, Con 2, it's bigger than a Coleman. It weighs more than a Coleman. Um, but for me, the weight distribution of not having to bring a bunch of pots and pans and saving that extra space, I would pick the, the griddle cooktop over the Coleman nine out of 10 days. Con 3 is seasoning the griddle. It's not that difficult, uh, especially if you come from a cooking background, but those that don't, it could be intimidating as far as how to season your cooktop. Now, how to season it, it's very easy. You use canola oil. I would stay away from olive oil or avocado just because it doesn't have as high as a burn or smoke point, and you could burn it. Uh, so, that being said, use canola oil heat up the cooktop get it really nice and hot put the oil on don't put too much just enough use a uh, paper towel cover the whole surface let it sit for a bit and you're pretty much done um that's just how you season it simple once you finish go ahead and start cooking uh whatever you want on top of it con four if you are not on a flat surface now they have these little legs that you can adjust to make it flat on the uh, pit boss itself. Not sure if the Blackstone, but I assume the Blackstone also has that. The Coleman does not. If it's not on a flat surface, everything's going to pull on one side. It's, you're going to see it. So if you're trying to make pancakes and put it on top, it's gonna start sliding. Anything oily, all the oil is gonna uh, pull, pull in that area and it's not gonna be nice. So if you cannot make it flat or find the flat area, at least make it so that way that oil catch is face downwards so the oil actually goes into the oil catch and not pull on a different side of your cooktop um, to just make sure that you don't get burnt or if the oil falls over and accidentally gets inside which it usually will not happen but if it does it there is a fire so oil on fire you know what happens so is the pit boss worth it to me yes um, as i mentioned it is a space saver for me, uh, it cooks everything. I don't have to bring pots and pans. So I literally pretty much only need these two things to cook. I prep all of my food prior to going out. So even the preparedness of me going out on any type of expedition or camping trip, I do most of my prep at home. So I dice up all my vegetables or if I'm making fried rice out, dice up the spam i'll put them all inside mason jars and then put them inside my um ice cold fridge and so that way it'll actually keep it cold and then i can take them out and actually just pretty much cook as i need whatever it is prep is my biggest thing just because of the fact that 
when you're cooking outside and having to clean it just makes it a bigger chore and a lot harder to do and the biggest thing for us is we're trying not to leave any traces behind we're trying to make it better than what we've actually gone to so we'll take more trash back out with us so prepping everything at home putting it in mason jars or plastic bags being able to take that back home to wash or we can wash it there as long as there's not a lot of food particles as well it just makes a camping trip a lot more enjoyable. It's because you're trying to enjoy being out in the wilderness. My vehicle is very heavy, so if I can minimize the weight and the size of everything when I'm bringing it out, um, just to get better gas mileage, but who are we kidding? I have a big rig for a reason. So gas mileage out the window. And for me, when I look at going anywhere, it's really, it's like vacation, right? You're willing to spend money. So for us, when we get out there to either go camping or overlanding, uh, the gas is not really on our mind. We just pay whatever we're going to have to pay. Now, if you're with me at the end of the video, I appreciate you watching. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Smash that like button and the notification. And I'll see you on the next one.